What <laughs> Fatamba 
Fata Bolti he Kantai Patele Fata Equas Manu Mohafa Olunga Tonga Fata Bolti he Fahofonga Tonga and Hitimometica Kanga Puranga Tonga. The Kokole Moke from Marmarat Hue. In a tough cut up, Kotala Mokapu, he televisione, come out from Polaria, Katam Bome Motuali. Que fata ok ya te pongo la macoya, if you feel. For the sake of our friends from our development partners, may I continue on in the English language, Maro. Honorable Hokame Riku, Prime Minister of Tonga, Her Excellency Rachel Moore, Australian High Commissioner to Tonga. Miss Lee Kutris, Asian Development Bank Director General for the Pacific Department, members of Cabinet, members of Parliament, members of our development halls, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's my indeed pleasure to warmly welcome you all to the official groundbreaking ceremony of our very own upgrade of our very own Salote Wolf and Port. We will start up with our opening prayer and will be led by Father Ekwasimani, principal of Up for College. And before that, we will ask Mr. Aloki Hakau Mariaseni, Chief Executive Officer for Ports Authority Tonga, to let us in the opening hymn. Without further ado, let us welcome Mr. Aloki Hakau Mariaseni. Fangau homofulu e folo folo himi mukata gomeha geta uheva. Si su he taulangau ki he kai na fai folau malo pe ho fi mai ki he potu fa matangi. Koe tahi fa pe aua, ita pe maolunga, koe mamba ko vieni, fukatanga ai lelei. to a brief biblical text uh, from the letter of uh, St. Paul 
to the community of Thessalonica. Listen as we urge you, brothers and sisters, to progress even more and to aspire to live a productive and tranquil life, to mind your own affairs and to work with your own hands, that you may conduct yourselves worthy of being trusted servants. Just by way of a brief reflection, one of the spiritual writers in reference to the life of Jesus and this uh, piece of scripture. Those of you who are familiar with the uh, scripture, Jesus began his public ministry when he was 30 years old. That meant 30 years he lived quietly, but productively. And the reflection goes, actually Jesus, the way he lived his life as the son of a carpenter, helped his community and consolidated a platform whereby the salvation of humanity can easily take effect. Egi paremia, egi ministawe, putungawe, lalahe pure anga, kau fafalang langi. Fia unga peki i rezone aho koe ni, kono fakawa e ni o e nga aue, okune hange ha hala fakawa kawa, kene fakahoko taki ai atonga pia motua pure anga. We bow our heads in prayer. Almighty and ever living God, we praise the splendor of your name for the countless blessings bestowed upon us, thus enabling us to gather here for this momentous ceremony, marking the commencement of the upgrade of the facilities and infrastructures of the Queen Salote International Wharf. Needless to say, Lord, this project plays a pivotal role for the social, political, and economic development of the nation and its people. Lord, we humbly implore special blessings upon the Director General of the Asian Development Bank for the Pacific, Ms. Leah Gutierrez. Her presence in this auspicious occasion is testimony to the commitment of the ADB to the development of nations across Asia and Oceania. We commend you, Lord, the Honorable Minister, for the Ministry of Infrastructure, Honorable Seventeen Tomoua, the CEO and colleagues from the Ministry, as they will undertake the mammoth task of leading and constructing the upgrade work on the wharf. We are mindful, Lord, of the strong presence of the foreign dignitaries, the diplomatic corps. We ask special blessing upon them. We ask that the Queen of the Fatawangi ke kei tau maringi mai e tāpua ke tua mafi mafi ke faro tu po. Ke laka laka i monu ai be a hono pure o tataki o mau ki pure anga. Papa ya tu eki a eki pare mia fonua ona po hua ka miliku. Ho eki e fonua ka minista ka launi ka uma ka inga mu fana utu po o tu tonga. Fatobu tapu i eki o ma mafa a koini ko ta fenga monu ia. 
Dwell with us, Lord, for the duration of this epic ceremony. And may you bring to fruition the work that is about to begin. Mahu mokorea te ngā maalohin, i wafa peo Jesu Christo ko alo kako mau eiki. I wafa ta mai ko me alo ko me lau maare maanyoni. Let us thank the principal of Upper College, Father Iguasman, whose spiritual open prayer to lead us this afternoon. We will proceed through to the local speech. Let us warmly welcome Honorable 17 Domoa, Minister for Infrastructure, to the table to local speech. Father Bugi, Osua Maf Mafi. Padahal dia nafio, kini bawon, kuli nanas bau tu buah. Padahal dia berinis kalau ni, princess kalau ni. Padahal dia Lord Fafanua, Hawaii. Padahal dia ek peremi atoma, bagu e fahfi falanglang yo ayahon, wakam beri. Pada pagi hari ini kami berkat mereka yang nyafio, pada pagi akula Muhammad Abul, pada pagi pada lekuas Muhammad Farulun Atong, pada pagi hari kita pula panggil lama Farulah kau Hesia, Miss Lia, Gutierrez, pada pagi kau Farulun Atong naik Farulun Buri, pada pagi pula Farulai. Kita kalau mau tahu informa, kata bagi kau fakih kau tahu tu ya aku tahu lo nuku ye kata angan perahon. Kau berdoa sama ni fakih kata area tertari ni area fakih Britania. Orang orang bawa minister of Tonga, Muka Meriko, Lord Fafanua, Miss Lia Gutierrez. ADB Director General for the Pacific, and Aaron Baitin, ADB Regional Director, and all our ADB colleagues here. Members of Cabinet, members of the Diplomatic Corp, members of the clergy, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. 
it is an honor for me to warmly welcome you all to this promising event, the groundbreaking ceremony for the upgrading of the Quinsalote International Wharf. I warmly welcome you, Prime Minister, Honorable Huacan Beliku, as the guest of honor for this evening. Today's milestone is one that will benefit the people of Tonga in many levels. I'd like to acknowledge and welcome our colleagues from Manila, ADB headquarters, as well as the ADB regional office in Suva, Ms. Leah Gutierrez and Mr. Aaron Baden. We are very fortunate to have you back in the Kingdom of Tonga after three long years of not meeting face to face. Your presence today demonstrates your commitment to the project and a strong relationship between the government of Tonga and the Asian Development Bank. <clears throat> we are very privileged to have the Managing Director and Project Director of McConnell Tower, Mr. Fraser Wiley, and Mr. Brent Leach, who is tasked with the most important work of rehabilitating and renewing the Queen Salote International Wharf. McConnell Tower has actively commenced their mobilization since the contract signing of Civil Works in August the 3rd, 2022. As we may have noticed, the renovation of old FISA building is almost complete as the site office for this project. We are very fortunate to have Mr. Michael Saunders, the director of Royal Hesconin Advisory Group, Maritime Australia. Mr. Jeremy Farrington, project engineer, team leader, for the supervision of this civil works. I'm delighted to extend my gratitude to the honorable cabinet ministers, chairman and board members of the Board Authority Tonga, who are supportive with this project. I want to extend Tonga shipping agencies, our colleagues from the private sector, and implementing partners who jointly made this event milestone achievable. I would like to acknowledge the representatives of the ministries, departments and agencies who have worked behind the scenes to ensure there is full compliance of project implementation. May today's program be the beginning of a new era in shipping and modern board management. The events of today's groundbreaking should live in our memories for many years to come. Malo Abito. Let us welcome Ms. Leah Kutris, Asia Development Bank Director General for the Pacific Department, to deliver the official remarks on behalf of the Asian Development Bank. Honorable Huaka Vameliko, Prime Minister of Tonga, Honorable Members of the Parliament and Ministers of Cabinet, Members of the Diplomatic Corps and the, diploma and the Development Community, Board and Management of Ports of Authority of Tonga, CEOs and Government Officials, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. Malo Elele, I'm very pleased to be here today and it is actually my first visit to Tonga. And it is such a great pleasure to be part of the official groundbreaking of the Queen Salote Wharf Upgrade Project. And this year also marks the 50th year of the partnership between the Kingdom of Tonga and the Asian Development Bank. With respect to this project, in July 2019, ADB and the government of Tonga started to prepare two transport projects, one of which is this, the Nokoa Lofa 
port upgrade project. This was approved later by the Board of Directors of ADB in December 2020 with $45 million in grant from the Asian Development Fund. The project will rehabilitate, renew, and expand the port infrastructure, strengthen management and operations, and improve the port's capacity. This will deliver safer, more reliable, and more affordable transport infrastructure and services to the people of Tonga. The project will also benefit other Pacific countries in the region with connecting shipping routes with the Nakualofa port. Being a big ocean state, the cost of importing goods in Tonga can have a significant impact on the economy and can undermine economic development. For Tonga, more than 98% of imports arrive by sea, and the Nokolofa port is the country's main international, air, uh, international port, and in many respects, its economic lifeline. As we can see today, this project will play a critical role in upgrading the existing port facilities, reducing safety and security risks, and promoting long-term commercial sustainable, sustainable port operations. It will also help to introduce new operating practices and approaches to improve the impact of port operations on the local environment and ensure that energy efficient practices are fully integrated into port operations. The port, as we all are aware, is highly vulnerable to the impact of climate change and disasters caused by natural disasters, including earthquakes, cyclones, rising sea levels, among others. It is therefore essential to enhance the resilience of the port and strengthen disaster management processes to minimize disruptions and resume services promptly after a disaster. Undertaking projects such as this, which enhance the resilience of our members to the impacts of climate change, is a core strategic priority of the ADB. ADB has firmly laid out its ambition to become a climate bank and support our members' transition towards a greener, more resilient, and decarbonized economies with the goal of providing $100 billion in climate finance by 2030. Moreover, ADB Strategy 2030 expands the focus on strengthening the connectivity between big ocean states and fostering regional cooperation and integration. Today marks a milestone in commencing the physical works on the project site with the presence of the contractor, McConnell Dowell Constructors Limited of New Zealand, the company that has been awarded by the government for the construction works under the project. I would like to offer my strongest appreciation to the government of Tonga for their hard work in awarding and signing all of the remaining contracts under the project related to construction, sub construction supervision and project management. I'm also very pleased to note the drive and the leadership from the government, with the Ministry of Finance as the executing agency and the Ministry of Infrastructure as implementing agency for this project. Together with the support of the Ports Authority of Tonga, McDowell McConnell Construction Limited as the contractor, Royal Hasconing DHV as the supervision firm, and all other stakeholders. I commend all of you who have worked so hard to allow all of us to reach this great milestone today. I also would like to take this opportunity to recognize the generous contributions made by, by Asian Development Fund donors, which allow ADB to provide grant financing towards projects such as this. Several of these generous do donors are represented here in Tonga and also present here today. So let me offer my sincere thanks to the High Commissioner of Australia, the, Amb the Ambassador of Japan, the High Commissioner of New Zealand, and the High Commissioner of the United Kingdom. Let me conclude by wishing all of you the best, 
in implementing the Queen Salote Wharf Upgrade Project, we in ADB stand ready with our support and commitment to the project's success, which is a key part of our vision of achieving reliable, safe, and sustainable services for the people, for the people of Tonga. Malo Pito. Thank you, Ms. Leah Kutris, for the ongoing support from the Asian Development Bank. We have reached the highlight of our program. Let us warmly welcome Honorable Hokame Riku, our very own Prime Minister, for his keynote speech. Uh, <laughs> Honorable Deputy Prime Ministers, uh, Cabinet Ministers, Members of Parliament, Your Excellencies, uh, Director General for Asian Development Bank, uh, distinguished guests and ladies and gentlemen, it is an honor to be here this afternoon at the groundbreaking ceremony that marks the beginning of the physical construction uh, works for the Port Upgrade Project of the Queen Salote International Wharf. The last upgrade of the Queen Salote International Wharf was in 1998, 24 years ago. However, some parts of the wharf date back to 1967, when it was originally constructed. Through the direct investment from the Asian Development Bank and the Australian Infrastructure Financing Facility for the Pacific, the civil works is finally commencing. This project adds to the celebrations of the 50th anniversary of the partnership between Tonga and the Asian Development Bank. Some of you took part in yesterday's ceremony in commissioning the battery energy storage system or PES systems uh, at the Tonga Power Limited. Renewable Energy Despite the challenges of the global pandemic, the project has managed to navigate through those challenges and progress forward through the collective efforts of all stakeholders. This Nugalofa Port Upgrade Project will rehabilitate, renew, and expand the existing infrastructure of the only international cargo port in Tonga, which the lifeline for the country and will also improve the management and operation practices of its port authority. The project is not only aligned with the government's strategic priority of providing a safer, more reliable, and more affordable transport infrastructure and services in Tonga, but also addresses some of ATP's operational priorities, such as regional cooperation and integration, climate change, and disaster resilience. The project will deliver three key outputs. First, the existing port infrastructure will be rehabilitated, including the reinstatement of the top service of the International Cargo Wharf, the rehabilitation works of both the international and all domestic wharves, a new concrete seawall and strengthening of the existing rock revetment, reorganization and reconstruction of the container yacht, and rehabilitation of the port auxiliary infrastructure. 
This intervention will allow the extension of the life of the infrastructure, increase boat capacity, and improve safety and lower operation and maintenance costs. Second, it's the extension of the international cargo wharves, which consists of a 50 meter extension of the international cargo wharf number two. The construction of four mooring or berthing dolphins for safer berthing and mooring of vessels during loading and unloading operations, and the relocation of a general navigation marker. This intervention will allow the deployment of larger vessels and result in reduced vessel operating costs and sea freight costs, and also reducing the cost of importing and exporting goods and contributing to the economic development of Tonga. This will encourage regional freight transportation, particularly to neighboring island states with connecting shipping routes such as Cook Islands, Samoa, and with Thomas' main trading partners, including Australia, New Zealand, and the United States. Thirdly, and lastly, is the improvement in port operations and management. This output consists of improving the capacity of PET, including the preparation of PET gender policy, with awareness sessions on workplace, anti-harassment, sexually transmitted infections, and opportunities for women in port operations, training in port terminal operation, introducing environmentally sustainable work practices, development of an asset management maintenance plan, and training on yard equipment operations. At the completion of this project, Tonga will be many steps closer to fulfilling our economic development potential, as Tonga's port of entry becomes more efficient and facilitates the import and export of goods at a greater speed. The government looks forward to working closely with McConnell Towell and Royal Haskening to achieve the objectives of the project and effectively implement the project in a timely manner. As the project proceeds into implementation, the government is keen to advance the readiness of the Fanga Udalakun Bridge Project as the next transportation project to be funded by ATP, which remain relevant and a priority for government's infrastructure projects. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the ATP project team, contractor consultants, Port Authority, Ministry of Infrastructure, Ministry of Finance. A lot of hard work is required for the next 900 days, and this happy occasion shall soon be repeated at the completion of the project, which we all look forward to. May I conclude by congratulating each person and organization who has contributed time, expertise, and funding to the project, and seek your continued support to successfully deliver and complete the project. Maro Office. This is quest we will continue on to the groundbreaking ceremony. May I ask the Port Authority Tonga, so as the Project Management Unit, and together with the Director Manager of McConnell Tower, Mr. Fraser Wally, to come forward, please. I'll humbly invite the Honourable Prime Minister of Tonga, Honourable Hoka Meliku, to lead with the first of all. So, Fraser, if you can go to the back hmm? of the yeah. Yeah. Mm. The second server will be Ms. Lee Kudris, the Asia Development Bank Director General Director for the Pacific Department, followed by Her Excellency Rachel Moore, the Australian High Commissioner Tonga. Is okay. So we invite uh, the rest of the cabinet ministers, so we'll see you also.
Je <laughs>
ko kori ke u hu fangai he ngai fa tapu ne au fa ke ek minista pa infrastructure e kamata nga ta programa ka ta ga te o ke u fa ka 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 to to e maga mai le aho a ke ha fa ma lo ga nga lo ke fa fo ke lang lang i ba mo e fa ma lo ke e to ma ma fi e ne fa fa nga ma ri e aho mo na to la ka la ba le le fa to nga ni na e fa ka to ka me ulu a ko ni ko lava pe lava le le ora bo la ho ka va meriku the prime minister of tonga and acting minister for public enterprises her excellency miss lia kutares director general for the pacific for asian development bank her excellency rachel moore the australian high commissioner and the rest of the heads of diplomatic missions ora bo cabinet ministers Member of Parliament, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great honour and privilege for me, on behalf of the government, Ports Authority of Tonga, and the stakeholders of Queen Salode Wharf, to deliver this vote of thanks as we conclude an excellent ceremony to introduce a new era for Queen Salode Wharf. Honourable Prime Minister, Gracing us with your presence is already an honour. Your address and your leadership role in this project are encouragements to all of us stakeholders at the port of Nukalofa. Yes, Director General, 98% of our imports to Tonga arrive by sea. Indeficiencies at the wharf has been a significant bottleneck for doing business in Tonga and the supply chain to our livelihood. The standards of ports and how they are managed have significant implications for economic growth and crisis response efforts, placing them in the heart of our small island development. Your Excellencies, Leah Kutares and Rachel Moore, the commendable contributions from the Asian Development Bank and the Australia Infrastructure Financing Facility for the Pacific to the Kingdom of Tonga will not only rehabilitate and streamline the operations at Green Salode Wharf, lift the efficiencies and capacity of our marine hub, boost international trade and economic growth, but will certainly facilitate swift responses from bilateral and multilateral friends of the Kingdom to the frequent natural disasters which is part of our livelihood. Citizens and businesses in Tonga are and will forever grateful with your targeted contributions, which I understand by far the highest of all ADB program to Tonga. I therefore wish to take this opportunity to extend Tonga's sincere gratitude to the Asian Development Bank, and especially to you, Director General Leah Kutaras, and the Australian government for these hist hist historical blessings. Your patience throughout the COVID-19 era and the negotiations phase that allowed this much needed project to go ahead are much appreciated. My sincere thanks to the Royal Heskoning DHV for the invaluable contributions since day one of this project. From the preparation of the feasibility studies to preparing the engineering designs, providing procurement support and continuing to be the construction supervisor for this project. Commitments by the contractor, McConnell Dow of New Zealand, to do the civil work is highly appreciated. Honorable Prime Minister, the dedication from the executing agency, Ministry of Finance, the implementing agency, Ministry of Infrastructure, the uh, project management unit, and not forgetting the management team of Ports Authority, in facilitating this project to reach this phase, and also for the next 900 days, as you mentioned, of hard work are much appreciated. acknowledging a former Minister for Finance, Tatak Boyaki, ADB project I would like to thank the Excellencies and members of the diplomatic corps, donor partners, Honourable Cabinet Ministers and Members of Parliament, 
all the distinguished guests who have blessed us with your presence this afternoon. Thank you all for making this program a memorable success of art. I love it. Let us thank uh, Dr. Soning Ong Kyo, Chairman of the Board of Directors, Boards of Roti Tonga, for delivering the vote of thanks. Distinguished guests, we have reached the end of our program. Before the benediction, we will be conducted by Father Egwas Manu. Let us invite Mr. Iketau Kaufusi, General Manager for Infrastructure here at Sports Authority Tonga, to read the closing hymn, Maro. For for him, that he was too quiet, he was quiet. For all me, he was full of matter. He me. For we are here for no. For two, he was sending. Na ikai ke ma o tua na masiva helerei. Hallelujah, como no ia ene. Oh, my God. 